The pro-Hamas and pro-Palestinian protests in London continue. London has officially turned into Londonstan and Sadiq Khan has lost control of the capital. This is what we saw last night. Uh, actually, the same time as the US capital was taken over uh, by the same sides and basically what we call the, the pro-Hamas insurrection in America. Uh, this was also the scenes outside Downing Street. First a protest, then it turned into a mass prayer they blocked the whole road, the whole street, Whitehall, and they started praying. But first, this is a chant that they were doing outside Downing Street. From the river to the sea. Hmm. Now, for those who know exactly what that means, you know this is not a peaceful chant. You know this is very dangerous, and these are sort of things that, uh, again, this is a Gary Lineker thing to say, it's very 1930s Germany, let's just say. So, that's what happened at first. And then, the protests turn into this. In the middle of London, the capital of England, Great Britain, the United Kingdom, they started praying. Um which is interesting and um, one thing about this country was that you know religious freedoms became a thing a while ago a long time ago that didn't really mean that you should really stop everybody else and disrupt the peace in the public you block the roads watch like i'm going to show you exactly what happened this is whitehall outside the prime minister's office <laughs> Now, these are the people who claim to uh, feel like outsiders in Britain. They they always say, "Oh, we're still we're still for like foreigners. This is not our home." It seems pretty much your home right now. In that video, um, it is the country right now that if you, as a Christian, would stand on the pavement, along and on the side, silently praying, you will be arrested. And it's out of context, obviously. I'm saying it for a reason. But if you do this, you'll be praised. Everything is absolutely fine. You know, there's, there's, there should be a thin line between public order and disorder. And that's one thing. If, if they can do this, then you know, other people should be able to, at least we should be able to make jokes on social media. What happened to free speech, right? So that aside, we had the footage, we had the reaction, and then things obviously continue to escalate. Actually, Douglas Murray mentioned something very interesting. He said, perfectly normal, traditional event in Whitehall on a wet Wednesday evening in October. Yeah. Also, I'm not really in, in, into that. Just getting on the floor. It's it's dirty. It's wet. It's messy. I don't understand this whole concept. Anyway, this is not really the only issue in the West. We have a lot of problems in the West. We have a lot of people in America, in Britain, in France, in Germany, who are against not just the countries, but against values, freedom, democracy, self determination, sovereignty, free speech, liberalism, everything that built that built the West. They are against it. And now. Humanity. They're against humanity. This is two um, women in New York City, uh, and apparently they're students. Uh, there is a van with pictures of missing children in, in, in Israel, missing Israeli children. This is the reaction that they had when they saw the van. They started laughing and giggling and showing the finger. This is apparently, this is, the, this is the good side. These are the good people, apparently. They, they, they are the victims. They are the, the, the oppressed. This is not pro-humanity. This is barbarism. And we know it is. And we invited it into the West. We said, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll welcome you. And we can help you integrate and you will be civilized like the rest of us. No, they, they refuse to be civilized. They are born with anger and blood. They, they're literally just there because since childhood, th these cultures, they face a lot of chaos, especially from their dads and from their husbands and everything else. Th the culture is about anger. It's about revenge. It's about warriorship. It's, it's, not, it's not really healthy to have this sort of culture in the West when we are 
claiming to be liberal and happy and tolerant. It's disgusting behavior. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.